Buffalo Fanatics, our page is growing and it's growing because of you. If you want to know more about how to join and become a paid member, click the tab, click the join button and become one of our paid members. Shout out to Blue Comet 1991 and Velo C Come. They have chimed in in the community and want to tell us how we can make the page better. And guess what? We are listening and we are watching. So shout out to our paid members for the continued support. And without further ado, let's get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Rico back at it again, ready to bring you a new one. Can the Buffalo Bills offense be trusted? I already broke down if the defense can be trusted and we knew it wasn't obvious. It can be, but there were a few little tweaks that I added in there that can make us go over the top. But the offense is a different ball game. Can they be trusted? I'm here to tell you, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. But I did my very best to try to pick a little bit on how and where we can try to get the trust of the Buffalo Bills fans, myself included. Three ways the Bills can lure us into trusting this offense because there's a lot of good things that can come from it. When I go back to 2018, that offense had me scratching my head. So where do the Bills go from here? How and where can we improve? Three places that come to mind immediately. Number one, the run game. You play to win the game or you run the rock to win the game. And if you can't run the rock to win the game, you ain't getting no W's. And if you ain't getting no W's, that means you ain't going to the playoffs. And if you're not going to the playoffs, that means you're planning your family vacation to Toronto, Canada to go to the aquarium. Better yet, come visit me in Ottawa and I'll show you around the damn parliament. You catch my drift? With 514 yards rushing, LaShawn McCoy was a shell of himself. Is it age? Is it nagging injuries? He just wasn't motivated to play behind a line that was depleted, who knows? But 500 yards ain't gonna cut it. 3.2 yards a carry, three touchdowns. Now let me tell you a little secret. 1,984 yards rushing as a team. 514 yards was LeSean McCoy. 631 yards was Josh Allen. Think about that for a second. We ranked ninth in the league, 124 yards a game. Take away Josh Allen. Do you know where we rank as an offense rushing the ball? 31st. We're just over 1,300 yards rushing. You know what? Don't take away Josh Allen because that's part of his game. Let's just say we cut it in half. We'll give him 300 yards rushing. Do you know where we rank as a rushing offense? 24th. Our offense was terrible. We need to improve. This run game needs to improve. How are we going to prove it? LaShawn McCoy needs to step up. 30 years old, man. You have the ability to prove all the old men wrong. Frank Gore's doing it. Now you got no excuse. This offense should only get better. The run game should only improve. We need to legit be a top 10 rushing offense like we've been in the past to have the ability to propel this offense to make it in the playoffs. But it's gotta start with the run game. Number two, it's the Hoggies, the big boys, the big uglies. You know, the guys that protect number 17. Specifically speaking of Mitch Morse, yes. The Mitch Morse that we brought onto this team that single-handedly makes this offensive unit a much better unit than we had last year. You know, the same lineman that hasn't surrendered a sack since 2015. He only allowed a sack just this past year. 1,500 pass blocks without surrendering a sack. 11 flags his whole career. That tells me discipline. That tells me he perfects his craft. He cares about his craft. He cares about who he protects. He cares about his quarterback. So we won in that regard. 
We won because we have a guy that now is going to solidify this old line that's going to be a leader in this offense and is going to lead these men next to him. We haven't had a center and a leader since Eric Wood. It'll only make Ty Nisecki that much better. Quentin Spain that much better. Cody Ford that much better. It'll only make our former second rounder, Deion Dawkins, that much better. I'm excited for this old line. But we can't get too excited. We need to find the five starting guys that are going to stay together and be a unit right from the very jump. We can't keep doing the musical chairs and having everybody switch all over the place and messing with the continuity. Find your five guys and stick to it. This is going to be a hell of a freaking camp this year. And I'm looking forward to seeing who are the final five. If this old line holds up, that means number 17 is dropping bombs all over everybody. Number three, it's the offensive coordinator, oh, ho, ho, ho. Brian Dable. Let's take, Let's a, look take a look back, back in memory, memory lane, lane folks. folks. Come, Come with me for a second. Me. Do you remember last year, <laughs> the offense that we ran, 16.8 points a game. Good for 30th in the league. 298 yards a game. Also good for 30th in the league. 174 passing yards. Good for 31st in the league. Do you catch the drift? Let me keep going. Third down completion percentage. We were 68 for 215. For my mathematicians out there, that's a measly 31%. To make math simpler, that's like going 3 for 10. Think about that one for a second. 124 yards rushing. The saving grace. This offense wasn't very good. Who was running the offense? Yes, Brian Dable. Now, I can't fault Brian Dable for everything. We had some pieces on this team that had no business being a starter. We all know it. But right now, we have no more excuses to give Brian Dable. Brandon Bean and McDermott gave him all the groceries he needs. He's got his running backs. He's got his old linemen. He's got his receivers. Brian Dable, you're the chef now, baby. You got your groceries, you better cook something for us. If we can get this offense gelling early, we will be a team that nobody is going to want to play. Forget about last year, it's over with. You now have your weapons, you have your groceries. Make us a great meal so we can enjoy it in the playoffs. Ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts on that? Can we trust this offense with those three things that I brought up? Run game. O-line, Brian Dable. I could have brought up the quarterback. Of course I could have. But we know that he's going to be on his A-game and ready to roll this year. Let's make it happen. Comment below, like this video, and let me know what your thoughts are. Am I bang on or am I way off? You guys are in control. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy. And until next time, I'm gone. Buffalo Fanatics has partnered with YouTube to offer viewers the ability to become sponsored members. Here are all the perks and exclusives included in your member package. Receive a Buffalo Fanatics loyalty badge and get priority when hosts are responding to comments and answering questions inside every live video chat. Access to a member-only community where you'll be able to communicate with our content creators and have more of a say in the content produced. Qualify to stream with our Buffalo Fanatics gaming streamers live on our YouTube and Twitch channels for the world to watch. Never pay shipping fees when shopping inside the Buffalo Fanatics fan shop. Automatically entered into a drawing to win a pair of tickets to the 2019 Buffalo Bills home opener, where you'll hang out and sit with the entire Buffalo Fanatics team. Drawing will be held live on YouTube in August 2019. We rep the people. We rep Buffalo Fanatics.